Hey guys, welcome back to channel. Today we're gonna talk about markers and we're gonna sketch some stuff because I received some new markers and I just can't wait to use them. In this mysterious box, I have my favorite markers. And this is not a sponsored video, it's not like an advertisement. It was just a marker that I was using. Probably you know already which marker I was talking about. And I just wrote them on Instagram. We were just talking a little bit and they decided to send me a couple of markers. So I'm very excited to just open this box and do some sketches together. So I think you already know when I open this, I generally love and I use this chart pack AD markers. You see that? Did you see how many things are there? Like I don't... Okay, this one is empty. This is another box, I believe. I, don't know, I think this is the first unboxing of this channel, our channel. By the way, today, by coincidence, I realized we hit 20,000 subscribers, so thank you all for watching and being here with me. But again, as I said, this video is not sponsored or anything. They are just super cool brand to send me these markers to try to use, to create. Look how many of these. Wow. Oh, we just opened the lid. Yeah. So I guess... 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, this is the set of grays. These all are the grays, guys. Look, for example, there is cool gray, there is steel, there is warm gray, there is basic gray. I don't know, there is more basic gray. There is, of course, extra black. And there is also super black. Like, I'm curious about the difference of extra black and super black. All right, these are the blacks. Oh, oh. That's amazing. I think I have one more bag to open like this. And then we have three type of blacks. There is normal black, this black. There is super black, there is extra black. All right. Right, this is the first set, 25 of grays, black, super cool. And now from the second set we will have some pastel colors and I will tell you the reason because on Instagram we were talking with Ed Markers, Chartpack, and you should definitely go check their, their page on Instagram, it's Ed Marker, this line, official. I don't know what is it called in English, this line from, you know what I mean. Yes, on Ed Markers I was talking to Pam. Pam, just thank you very much for made this possible. It was very quick delivery. It was all the way from America to Turkey. Right now I'm in Turkey and it was super fast. And I'm really happy about this. So when Pam asked me which colors do I use the most, which colors do I prefer, I said, if possible, all the grays. And as you see, we have 25 different grays, which is definitely amazing. And now we have all the pastel colors. I love using these pastel colors because they are going really nice with the gray. Like I mostly use the gray because, you know, I sketch most of the cars. And when I make the whole body with grays, after that I want to emphasize some parts, some details with some nice colors. And let's see which colors are they here. Let me put them. All right, without checking any color chart or something we we ordered them kind of like in a nice gradient in between and look at those colors it's, it's just amazing i don't know even which one to start with we will also put them in this nice box so they will be all organized and very nice always staying on my desk wow i'm excited and here we have the guide that you can check i will leave the links about ad markers below so you can go check their website and their pages and everything Look, here are the sets I asked Pam to send me, I think. E-warm and cool grays, I think. One is totally grays. And the other one should be pastel, yeah. Let's put them in the box and then let's sketch something. Oh, 
All right, guys, there was a little problem, which was about the sound, about the audio on the previous part of this video. I'm sorry about that. Um, this microphone here is supposed to work, but I don't know, there was a problem. Anyway, so now it's time to sketch something. But rather than sketching from zero on the paper, like with the pen or stuff, I already have some sketches that we can check. Like, this is, I don't know, from last week, I guess, or like 10 days ago. I published it on Instagram. It's like a Lamborghini sketch. Or we can go on with some simple side view, like, I don't know, Audi kind of sketch. Or here's another idea. I, yeah, I made a Instagram reel with this one. It was like uh, this little short video that probably you saw on Instagram. It was also on YouTube, I guess. And here are some other small sketches, more like doodles, maybe. Maybe this one is a bit more like a doodle, some sketches. So I don't know which one to put some markers on, I guess. Let's start with Lamborghini, right? So what I do generally is I start with something very light, like the Cool Grade 2. Let's try with Cool, cool Grade 2. I'm gonna put the markers here. And what I do is, as you see on the sketch, I already showed where is the surface. So I can just add some gray on this area. Parts I want darker, of course, I do it like two, three strokes and you already see the difference, like this is already darker there. And I consider like the light is coming from top to the car, generally. I guess the basic sketch rules. Adding some ground and here on the front, I will put like this long strokes. To show that it's a continuous surface going on all the way. And on micro sketches, I don't like to make too much like realistic um, illustrations, let's say, because the goal is quickly showing some surfaces and reflections of the car. All right, with C2 marker, we already came to this level, which is already good to show like the general reflections of the body. So now, cool gray 5, let's work with the cool gray 5 and I'm gonna put some darker areas, like first to try I will just put this air intake here and then I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow just to see how darker it is to try to test all the time and okay, now I have a feeling how darker it will be so rather than putting it directly on the car body it's better to just go slower to know what will happen. You can put it in this inside also. Oops, here I did it a little bit too much. So I can extend it a little bit to make it stronger shadow. And yeah, it's, that's the point of markers for me, like doing it relaxed and just having fun because mistakes are okay. Mistakes even add sometimes more value to the sketch, like more artistic approach, I can say. Alright, I think it's too dark to continue with the body. I don't want to risk it. I, I don't feel comfortable yet with it. So I will get just cool grade 3 and I'm gonna put it a little bit inside of the wheels add the shadows by the way for paper I use like the normal paper at the moment like a photocopy paper copy paper and to blend them each other like after painting with dark one I got cool two again and I just like this to have a bit more gradient between the gray and grays I think it's even enough that much grays I don't know if I even want to add some pastels to this sketch or not but what I like to do after coming to this level is adding a little bit with the ballpoint some thickness to different places I want to emphasize again like the strong lines because it gets a bit blurred um, and the good thing about AD markers the thing I love about these markers is 
they don't make the pen bleed afterwards like most of the markers after you have the pen sketch when you put the marker on it the ink just bleeds and just gets very blurred and you lose all the control on it but with this one there's no problem it's just so nice but of course it gets maybe a little bit blurred or a little bit lost because of all this ink on the top however it's very easy to fix it's not something you cannot take it back as you see So I'm gonna add also a couple lines here to add some more texture to the sketch, let's say. Alright, I think it's pretty cool already. Another thing we can do is like we can get the lightest cool gray in this case the cool gray one and we can even like make kind of reflection this might be the wheels can add a little bit of ground here we can have kind of silhouette here the air intake and some rims maybe like putting a little bit of symmetry of the car on the ground very light markers so this way we have kind of reflection effect like a shiny ground and we can also use it as you see to add a bit more darkness on some parts that we want to add like if I want to have a little bit of shadow of this mirror I can just do it like this and when it's dry it will be even better Alright, I think, as you see, I don't know how long it took, probably just a couple minutes, it's not a long process for me to use markers, but the effect is way better than how we started to sketch. Also if you want to see here, we can just check it on the camera, here we go. So we can do one more maybe. Let's say this is done, it will go to the wall. I will pin it there. And we can do maybe Audi. This SUV off-road kind of thing. Because yesterday on Instagram I shared another SUV and I used the ground color, like a brownish color on the floor to show it's a dirty car you know, going on the dirty terrain. So we can also do something similar to this. For that we can first, let's use warm gray this time. I'm gonna just put back my cool grays. Tag warm gray two four seven maybe that's enough for now and let's start with the two again I start with the light one again putting some very rough ink and then going a couple places some of the places a couple of times to make it a bit darker. As you see, it's already getting coming to life. And then I will get the warm gray four to add even more darker areas. here on the wheel arches all right actually as I see this warm gray can be even already like a ground color we would make like cool gray body and then warm gray clip ground to balance this little contrast cool warm contrast and adding this dirt effect from the ground anyway but I'm gonna add warm gray one some places to make it gently darker and I would say a little bit of blending in between like the interior can also get a little bit of warm grey alright as you see it's like it was very very quick marker here and um, now we're gonna pick some 
ground effect. I think this one is nice, which is desert tan anyway. And as a lighter version of this to have, we can use light sand. So I think these are similar colors. I used yesterday them for the ground, so I can expect what will happen. I will start with the light color again, the light sand. And I'm gonna just paint the wheels, the tires, let's say. A bit of brown here. And also some like a little bit of bumper area to see, to show that the dust is actually sticking to the car, you know, it's not like not that clean it's a little bit blurred effect also on the background I like this type of dirt this case but now I see that it would be maybe better to have cool gray on the car but anyway let's get the darker version the desert 10 and emphasize some more shadow areas and add some maybe like volumes on some surfaces Right, it's already something and inside of the wheels we can make it maybe like a warm gray area or like a ground but let's use a dark warm gray like warm gray 7 I'm a bit afraid honestly because I don't know what will be the effect so I'm trying it here first if it's too dark but let's see I'll put only this much and then I will get the warm gray 4 they look even similar right now, but when it gets dry, it will look different. And with the lightest warm gray, we can add a little bit of reflections and shadow on the rest of the rim. All right. This was the marker part, and now I want to add a little bit of pen on, up, on top of it to refine some lines again, like this headlight grill area. I want to go one more time with the pen. I think we are done with this sketch of course you can always add a bit more details here and there but I like this dirty taste as I said before so I think I'm gonna leave it this way All right here is the Audi the off-road kind of type this will also go to the wall and we will collect some sketches like this step by step and here and here we can see a bit of difference on the cool gray and the warm gray and adding some colors here all right so i think it's done for this video 
And guys, please let me know if you want to see more about markers, about sketching, we can do different videos. And if you have any suggestions or requests for tutorials or this kind of specific things about markers, just write down on the comments and I'm gonna answer them. I'm gonna make different videos with these markers because look, we have a lot of markers to use. So we're gonna enjoy it together. So let me know. And if you like this video, show it on the like button, please. And if you are new to the channel, we talk all about car design. So please subscribe and we can continue doing this. And chart pack 80 markers, fam, thank you very much again for these markers. It's, it's really fun. By the way, it smells great. Like it's one of the things that car designers know. Whoever used these markers know actually that it smells good. See you on the next video. Maybe we can make a video that about well, which color smells the best. This is turquoise, turquoise green. Let's try some purple smell. Lila. Lila. Hmm, it really smells different. I was honestly I was not expecting this. I was expecting them all to smell the same, but maybe because I always use the same colors. Hmm, no. Whew. After using markers like more than 10 minutes, just open your windows to really circulate the air, otherwise it might be really like you can get high or something.